Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to initialize a new drive. So uh, here I have File Explorer open and I could only see drive C and the DVD drive and there should be another disk, uh, but it just hasn't been initialized or formatted yet. Okay, so uh, let's click on the start button and just start typing in the word disk and then space and then start typing in management and you'll get this uh, create and format hard disk partitions uh, option uh, let's go ahead and click on that and windows in this case is recognizing that disk one here is not initialized right so so there's there's a couple of options in terms of how it might be initialized one is with master boot record which is the default and which is what i recommend you go for uh if you're just not sure what you want to do and the the gpt uh if you know you're not going to boot up off of the disk and you're just going to use it for um data and uh if you're not worried about it being compatible with older versions of Windows, etc., uh, you can choose that. But the master boot record is a fine option in any case. So let's just stick with that and click OK. And then it has initialized that disk, but it's still not formatted because we can see it here. Disk one unallocated, right? So we can now right click on that disk and choose uh, new simple volume. You get this little wizard that comes up. I'm going to click next. And uh, you can do fancy partitioning and stuff uh, in terms of only using portions of the drive for certain partitions, etc. But we're going to go for just the full drive being partitioned as one simple volume. So we can keep the numbers that it offers us and click next. And we can also, at this point, choose a drive letter, All right? So um, what I like to do, if it's a backup drive, which this case is going to be, is choose B for backup, All right? Uh, otherwise, you know, whatever suits you, um, choose a drive letter or leave the default. Uh, generally doesn't matter either way, uh, unless, say, you have... Uh, thumb drives that you go that you put in and they're consistently coming up as drive e uh, historically for you you may not want this to take over that drive letter because maybe you've made shortcuts to those drives or that's how you used to working so you might want to uh, switch the e to uh, you know x or y or z or whatever right uh, just to get it away from the lower letters so uh, i'm going to stick with b here next and uh, we have the default option is to format it with NTFS. Um, and here you can actually give it a volume label. So instead of new volume, I'm going to type in backup drive as the volume label. And you can either do a quick format, which means that it will, it will lay down the structure, uh, sort of the skeleton of a structure, but it won't actually go through and each sector of the disk and uh, write out zeros or whatever it does when it's formatting. Um, quick format is generally fine. If you want to be more thorough and 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 uh, intense about it, you can uncheck that. But uh, I would generally leave that checked, unless you've got good reason not to. It saves a lot of time. And uh, enable file and folder compression. If you were concerned about space on the drive. Uh, you can check this if you're if you're going to be if you know you're going to be filling the drive up and you want to optimize space on the drive you can go ahead and, and click that there would be a performance hit um, with that uh, in terms of overhead for compression etc so I'm just going to keep the defaults aside from the volume label and click next and then go ahead and click finish and it doesn't take very long uh, generally speaking, it's now formatted, uh, detected as drive B. You know, here it says, what action would you like to take? I could have ignored that, but like, if I click on it, I can say open. And here we are on drive B. And uh, if I click 
this PC and ex expand there. We can see it in the list on the left-hand side. So now our new drive is formatted. It has a volume label. It's initialized. And uh, you know, if we go right-click new text document, you'll create a test file. It's got zero bytes right now. You know, hello world. And if we save that, now it has a tiny bit of content. So we can see that our drive is working. Hopefully this has helped you initialize and format your new hard drive. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.